murder shot. <sighs> Joe, it don't matter. <coughs> All right. What's up, everybody? I'm Joe. I'm Eli. This is Pondering Fellows. Welcome. And we're just pondering. We're pondering. We're questioning all the things. <laughs> um, and we're going to start. Let's start with an oracle. Pick pick one of those bad boys Yeah, well, right what's there. the difference here? What's the what's the blue one? What's the, what's the oh, so this blue deck. So what we're doing, we're going to start today's episode with an oracle card. Oracle cards are um, just kind of not tarot, but cards that give some kind of information, right? Some mm-hmm. kind of guidance that we may need to answer a question. This blue deck is just an overall energy deck. Mm-hmm. So it's just random energy. This other deck is just a white light oracle. So all different kind of cards in here based on all different things. Okay. This is just all different kinds of energy. I like energies. this light one. The light one? All right. So, Take them, so them up. before we do this, okay. Uh, I'm telling my buddy about this, right? And I'm like, yo... I'm telling him about my uncle and da, da da da, and I'm like, dude, I went over his house, and I literally he told he's going through he has all these decks out, and he's like, just pick a number, and then we started talking, and as he said, pick a number in my mind, my favorite numbers are nine and two, right, and I'm thinking nine two nine two nine two two nine nine two two nine like those are my favorite numbers, and then you you ask me and like I blurted out twenty one, mm-hmm. and. First of all, I've never used that in a video game, like 21. No, my favorite number was two because that was your football number. Mm-hmm. And then my football number was nine. Mm-hmm. Or, and I used, I was. I, it's it was, interesting because some of my favorite numbers are two and nine as well. All right. So I was <laughs> able to use nine in football and basketball. So that's why I really like nine. And two is so hard to get. Yeah. Good luck getting that from a quarterback. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying this back and forth, back and forth. And I'm like 21. I'm like, then you you went to ask me again. I'm like, no, I'm saying nine, this, uh, uh, seven, <laughs> and I'm bl- blurting out these numbers, and I I that was so odd to me, very odd. And then the last car, I'm like, no, I'm saying two, that you like, I was I was I chained <laughs> myself to that number, and I and I, I blurted two out, but it was, it was very odd, very very odd. So, I'm not it, saying it's... something made me say it. But right, but maybe it's not that it was something. It was just you. You were literally like you just tap in. It's like I don't know why I'm saying this number, but this is the number. That's what I mean, man. And that's why I really want to have this podcast because I feel like I am me, right? But you never heard the the phrase "cut from the same cloth." Mm-hmm. I feel like everybody could relate to that. Like you know somebody that's you could name like five people that are just like that guy, right? Right. And and then you know somebody else, and you can name two or three people that are just like him. Or yo, you would get along with Tommy. Like you two are just used to it, because they're cut from the same cloth. And I don't know. I just I don't know how that goes coincides, but well, I think that could be um, to jump into the woo woo side of things. Like that's your your soul tribe. Like I truly feel I love that, that phrase that we've all been here before. Right. We've all played this game before, and we keep coming back, right? Like, as Stella's sitting in between us, sh- this dog is part of my soul tribe. Like, she showed up when I did not want a dog at all okay, um, and just showed up, and now here she is, right? And it's like we, we keep making these reconnections with dogs, people, right? Some of us are born in the same family, And that right? goes from the beginning of time, too, dogs. All but of go us. Ahead. But go ahead. Yeah. You know, like, like I look at you and Liz – and me, like, I feel we have this really interesting yes. connection. Right. You know, not that Three uh, genera- like the oh rest my God, of us. We need her here. That, yeah, Mike said that yesterday. When will Liz be part of it? I was like, Liz will be part of it. Liz is my, <laughs> my uh, niece as well, Elijah's uh, my little sister. sister. Um, anyway, so I kind of lost, lost my train of thought there. But the, our soul try, right? Like, mm. I feel we, and this is just my belief, all right? Like, anything that we say on this podcast, take what works right take what works for you right and leave the rest right if we say something that triggers you mm-hmm. and i love prefacing this like if we say something that triggers you most likely it is because there's something inside you that wants to know more no about know. it right 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 so instead of exploring it you're like oh that upset me so instead of reaching out and saying hey you guys triggered me first ask yourself why did that trigger yeah whether me? it's mad happy sad whatever why did that touch your feelings so much why did that string your guitar right exactly. Now, an old phrase that not even old um 
uh, football coaches used to say, if it don't apply, let it fly. Mm. Because when they're saying something, they're saying it to everybody. They can't single anybody out. So if it don't apply, let it fly. Right. Yeah. Don't take it. So don't take the things that we say personally. All right. We're just two dudes exploring some things. Um, so back to the soul tribe. That, so, yeah, I love that so, phrase. So I feel that, that we've all done this. We've also have these like soul contracts that we agreed to before we plopped down on this planet. We were like, yeah, I agree to this life and to experience these things so my soul can grow. And in doing so, I'm going to find my if I'm actually being present, right? If my head isn't up my ass and I'm being present and I actually start saying the people around me be like, oh, shit, yeah, we played this game before. Right. We've been here before. So that's we're, what we're back again. Right. And 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 I I don't know what I watched that um made me think like that and it's like all right well if i'm in control of my life and i decided where i wanted to go mm -hmm. why the hell would i choose the whitest family <laughs> why the hell would i go to the whitest town now i'm born in 91 but i was one of the first black babies born in my town so it was like the 60s 70s for me mm -hmm. so why would i do that not only that why would I be want to be born from somebody that's deaf, can't mm -hmm. speak to my mother? So imagine that, not being able to speak to your mom. And, and your mom is my is ma'am, mm -hmm. my, my, my grandmother. We all love her. No one loves her more than me. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like, why would I do that to myself? And then the only answer I get is because you wanted to challenge yourself. You wanted to see what you could do. If that is... What right. it is. Or just it's what you needed to learn, right? That's Instead it. of it really being a challenge, it's it's what's this lesson that I'm learning on this, this right. path? And unfortunately, you know, there's something, right? There's something there. Why why do I have deaf sisters? You know? Right? right. Why did I pick this family? Right. Why did I pick to come in, to enter into this family? Um, I don't know if you know the story. The night that Mam's dad died. Okay. I was conceived. Oh no shit. I only know one person that the same same similar thing. That's so crazy. I do find that really crazy. And you know, for the longest time I was like, shit, am I him? Right. And I'd be so annoyed because you know, he lost his arm okay. in a mine accident. But growing up, I heard he just like it was a train accident. And I was so annoyed. I'm like, how do you get hit by a fucking train? Like this those yeah. things are fucking huge. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Get the fuck out of the way. Okay, I never knew um, this. Yeah, and then just a couple of years ago, I saw a picture and Jack said something, and I was like, train. He was like, it was a mine accident. I'm like, oh, I thought it was a train accident. But anyway, I was having a Vedic astrology reading, which is like an astrology reading. We'll probably talk about it in some okay, episode. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'm this thinking. woman looked at my hand, right? Okay. And as she's looking at my hand, she's looking at me, and she just keeps going up and down, up and down. And the first thing she says to me is, you're not him. She knows the only thing she knows about me is the date and time that I was born and where I was born. Okay, that's all. Because then she puts it into a program, lines up, shows. Okay, where all, all the right. So are. where the stars were when you were. But born. that's all. All she knew. Copy. And I was like, "What are you talking about?" She was like, "You're not your grandfather." That's cool. I just got the chills. She was like, "But yeah. you totally crossed paths on your way here," and he told you what you were supposed to do on your way here, but you're not him. And and it felt like this giant weight was lifted. That's dope. I never off, heard of off any of, nothing off of my about your parents. Um, my 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 um, bad. My life. Anyway, so we kind of really went went off the rails there. So should we pull one of these oracles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, do, go ahead. You can what, do that. What numbers in your head? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> but we're not going to do that. You want to shuffle them first? Um, you can shuffle them. Put your energy into them. It's always good to get your energy into them as well. It gives you a little. Uh, a little more umph. You think that's still? Ooh, that's ah, it. the jumper. The jumper, it is. Here you go. Oh, Mintka, the Sea of Mintka, longing for home, belonging the original light workers. <laughs> so I, I think that's a great part <laughs> for our first episode. Um, we are the original OG light workers. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so what do you think about that? I, I mean, look, every card, I feel like every card I pull is just like an awesome card. So 
I don't know how to go about these cards yet. Right, I exactly. Honestly, I'm going to give you my honest opinion about them. That's sick. <laughs> um, just like when you flopped the last card and it was I am. It was like, you know, we all are that, though. Mm-hmm. And That's and, our true essence. Right. So it's like, ugh, I, I like... I want to know more. You know what I mean? And and there, and I work nights, so there's a lot of sleepless uh, research and just research and research, man. And, I don't know. That's and an it, awesome card. And it's a beautiful journey. And you know what? Everybody listening, I, I hate to do this to you, but we're going to we're going to end it right here leaving you wanting more. This is just a little taste of what Pondering Fellows is all about. Like, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. Tell your friends about it. Put it in your stories. And we'll be back in a couple of days with another episode talking about who knows what.